Another week, boys, and another twab. This week at Bungie, Destiny 2, alongside a host of other games, are getting shut down January 2023 for Stadia. Now, I know. Some of you are like, Cross, who the hell even plays Stadia? There are players out there that do play Stadia. I've got a buddy of mine that travels a lot, and that's all he brings when he goes places, is Stadia. And even though it's not the best gaming experience, for like daily tasks, like going to see Zer, or, or like grabbing a mod, or even doing a few strikes, Stadia really wasn't that bad. Now, arguably, the biggest loss out of everything in regards to Stadia is actually the checkpoints. Essentially, Luxstruck used to establish checkpoint bots on Stadia that would save checkpoints going into reset each week. And this was really beneficial for us because like coming out of a reset, if we immediately wanted to damage test something, we could because Luxstruck would have those checkpoints. And something about Stadia allowed you to hold on to those checkpoints each and every single week. Essentially why Luxstruck became known as the checkpoint guy. Now, I do think he's probably probably gonna figure out a workaround. If there's one thing to never doubt as a gamer that's committed, so whether Steam or through console or maybe another platform, he'll probably have a way to still establish those checkpoints every single week. Granted though, what made Stadia the platform to achieve this with was because it was cloud-based gaming. And it's to my understanding, it doesn't actually go through the same maintenance process and like download process that the rest of the platforms have to go through every single reset. Either way, even if we can't get those checkpoints every single week, we could still get it the old fashioned way. And just play the game. Now posted here from Destiny Bulletin, the amount of players that Stadia has averages around five to 6,000 daily active players in Destiny 2. Compare that to the Epic Games Store, which is around 15,000 players. Current D2 players across all platforms, and this actually really surprised me, PlayStation at 444,000, Xbox at 377,000, Steam at 305,000, Stadia at 5,000, EGS at 13,000, which is Epic Games Store. Regardless though, this was definitely the smallest of the population. And considering we also have cross-play and cross save. I don't think this is going to be that big of a deal because if you're like a dedicated exclusive Stadia player, you could just move to one of these other platforms. Granted, if you don't have a PC or a console, well, then that could be a problem. Either way it goes, rip to our fellow Stadia players as well as Stadia itself. Perhaps one day cloud gaming might actually become a thing. But right now in 2022, neither cloud gaming or even virtual reality, neither one of those really scratches my gamer itch. Now back to the twop. Now happy twops day, guardians. For this week's shenanigans, we have just a few things to cover, including a little patch note preview. But all in all, another rocking week. There's a joke in here somewhere. Just keep reading. So without further ado, the twa. So for patch notes preview, please tell me Gur Falcon is going to get fixed. Earlier in the week, we were digging around in the worldwide internal bungee web and found a bit of the patch notes for the next week just floating around all by its lonesome. So we thought we would give you a tiny sneak peek at what we have lined up. To alleviate some of the pressure in acquiring season of the plunder weapon patterns, the double perk weapon spoils crew upgrade will now give you a deep sight modded weapon the first time you focus a weapon each week. For the love of God, that should have been the case already. And I just got like all the weapon patterns, right? Now the deep side modded weapon from the hidden compartment crew upgrade will now appropriately refresh at the weekly reset. This issue is a bit of a doozy to address, but the team rocked it out. I can't stop. I'm sorry. And got it fixed together in time for a hot fix next week. All right. So essentially, if you found getting weapon patterns this season to be more difficult than others, it's because that was messed up. And season the haunted, we had that level of protection, which allowed us to get those haunted weapon patterns and op weapon patterns. Should have been fixed before now, but at least it's getting fixed. Rock out with Prime Gaming. Ah, there it is. The rocking out. Prime rewards include the rock out exotic emotes, the traitor Primus Shell, the exotic ghost, the exotic sparrow, and a legendary ship. Now, Ambition and Birthright enter the chat. Grandmaster Nightfalls are returning next week, bringing some of our most challenging PV content back into the mix. Here's your next shot to finish up your Conqueror title, or even Gilded Guardian. You can do it, and earn some awesome loot. Speaking of loot, we want to give you a preview of the adept weapons you can earn this season. Introducing for the first time as adept weapons, the Malicious Birthright and Mindbender's Ambition. We've actually gone over both of those weapons, at least an overview for them. I have not individually reviewed them as we want to get the adept versions of them first and really just play with both of them fully specced out. Malicious Birthright though was one of my favorite GLs back in the day, so having an adept version of it sounds fantastic. Mindbender's Ambition, a lot of people say it's crap, at least in comparison to what its previous roles used to be, but similar like Horus Lease, I believe the adept version here is going to allow this shotgun to shine even inside of PvP. Now moving on, the hotfix itself, hotfix 6.2.0.7, will begin next Tuesday, October 4th at 9 a.m. Destiny 2 will then be brought offline at 9.45. 10 a.m. the hotfix will begin to roll out, and by 11 a.m. maintenance should complete. Now accessing Season the Plunder Season Pass. Incorrect wording is displayed on the Season 18 Season Pass for players who have not completed the introductory mission. Right now it is telling players that have already purchased the Season Pass that they need
need the season pass to access plundered umbral energy this is incorrect in addition to owning the season pass players must do the following to acquire plundered umbral energy complete the salvage and salvation missions in the helm speak to spider in the elixir quarter complete the ahoy and away quest visit the star charts in helm acquire the cells of the ship stealer and captain's atlas quest and claim plunder umbral energy in the season pass yeah not sure what the issue is there there just seems to be more bugs here recently guys than ever before it's like every single season we get more and more bucks now known issues while we've continued to investigate various known issues here's a list of the latest issues that were reported to us in our help forum the hidden compartment crew upgrades drop rewards at 1350 power the sundering flesh shader is not applying to weapons armor and other items as intended now i do not see anything about Gur falcon being re-enabled somebody correct me if i'm wrong if it actually got re-enabled or not but at least to my knowledge that exotic for some reason is still disabled actually i just tried to equip it and you still can't equip it so yes it's disabled guys look i don't want to sound like a toxic gamer right now i know that devin games is hard however this is becoming too common of a solution we get new exotics they roll out and they become disabled and this season two of the three new exotic armor pieces were disabled back to back and i'm only bringing this up because i want to make a collective obligation build with girl falcon and by god bungie you disabling this exotic is really cutting into my build on top of that that needs to quit being a solution here all right things roll out bugged and all of a sudden it's like oh kick it in the back we'll fix it when we fix it disable it for now now as a final note here from bungie and there we have it but one last thing before we go we just wanted to give a thank you to the community at large for where twa posts truly so many of them are shared internally and continue to make us smile week after week with your cleverness creativity and kindness thank you guardians stay crafty guardians sam outside of that guys yes grandmasters are returning next week we will be live we will be playing them we'll be doing all of them i have a number of builds that i want to go over leading into next week that are going to be like grandmaster rated builds that i feel like are going to really help you this season they synergize well with the artifact mods they work well with the nightfalls that we have on the current docket we do have a slew of very difficult grandmasters this season it is going to be a challenge at the same time though we now have access to all the 3.0 subclasses in the game and if utilized correctly every one of these nightfalls can be beaten feathers and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right Thank you.